Kyle here from allmeatreviews.blogspot.com. I uh, do a couple videos today. The first one here I wanted just to go over and it's not going to be very long, at least from the list is the upcoming week from today because today's Friday. Um, today's Friday, uh, what, November 19th. Record Black Friday record store day. Just briefly just to say like there is the, of course the record store days that happen Normally they happen in April, and of course since COVID, last couple of years they've happened in, what was it, over the summer and fall, like July, August, September, something like that, or was it, I can't remember. I think last year it might have been actually August, September, October, and this past year it was June and July. I, They haven't happened in April. Anyway, there's Black Friday, which is a different one, and it's always more low-key, because most people aren't shopping at record stores for special items, or record stores specifically for on Black Friday, they're going to the big box stores or wherever, you know, of course there's Cyber Monday and Small Business Saturday. Anyway, I, my wife and I have always found Black Friday Record Store Day to be less stressful, even though the, 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 the amount of special items are obviously not, it's a fraction of it, but there's still been some really good stuff and it just been, it's been more easygoing and enjoyable experience and so and we're going to do it again this year. So. But the, the truth is, as far as items go, there's not that many we're looking for. But I'll go over the, the couple that I'm looking for. The one, the biggest one is the King's X Please Come Home Mr. Bulbous. I mean, I could show the CD, I don't have it here in front of me. But that vinyl was supposed to be with the Record Store Day. In fact, I think I have my King's X here from Record Store Day. The other two. Yep, here's Tape Head. And here's... Uh, these two, of course, came out, and I didn't. I made a video, never, never actually uploaded. I don't think, but I got the two. But please come home, Mr. Bulbous, the album that that sandwiched these two. You know, I need to get on vinyl too. And it was supposed to be last summer, last it was I think it was July, but it got held up on a truck. So that's one. The other item is um, the the album from the band. I've never really talked that much about on a video. But I've talked about it a little bit on my blog though. Um, band I really like called Saigon Kick. I don't know anymore. Jason Beeler, you know, I know he's still done solo stuff. In fact, I think the Prog Report did something on his new record. Anyway, they're all in the Lizard. It's just called Lizard, I believe. I don't think it's the Lizard. Just Lizard, one word, is coming out as well. And I saw Spin Me Round had some early Black Friday shipments and they had a bunch of copies. So there's 2,000 total. There's 2,000 of the Please Come Home Mr. Bulbous from King's X. So those are the two items that I am anticipating. I can't remember if there was anything else even no. The only thing I'll say is that there's a couple of cassette tapes that are also coming out. One of them being from the band Local Natives, who I really like. Another band I could probably do a video of at some point. Um, but uh, I'm not sure if it's really worth... I don't know. I'll see about something. I don't really want something from an artist that's on, I like on Record Store, Black, Black Friday Record Store Day, and I end up still getting it for whatever reason. But uh, it's music from the Penn Ga Gala in 1983. I'm not sure what that refers to. Anyway, there's supposedly 1,500 copies on cassette tapes. So, pretty small list. Anyway, for my wife, for Joyce, it's there's a couple items. There's a Hall and Oates, Daryl Hall and John Oates, Fall in Philadelphia, the definitive demo was 68 to 71, like the early period. There's 1,500 copies of that. Um, I haven't seen that. The only one I saw was the Lizard copy, so all the other record sort of items I haven't seen videos of yet, but they should be showing up hopefully soon in the next few days. I don't know if Bull Moose, you know, Chris and Bull Moose hopefully will be doing a video, and then the people from Spin Me Around and stuff, but, um, next on her list is Chris Isaac, Beyond the Sun. Uh, I don't know how many copies were listed initially on the record sort of site. It's probably an update, because I made this list probably almost two months ago, but, so that's that's another one she's looking for. Uh, the Jackson 5, I think it's just the, the ABC tune on a, I don't know if it's a 12-inch or just a 7-inch 45, but maybe colored. There's 1,500 copies of that. I would think there would be enough to find, but again, it's Black Friday versus the normal record store day, so I kind of think it's going to be not as difficult. It's just more a matter of the stores we go to will have these, not so much the, the mad rush for the crowd to get them, so... But then, <coughs> excuse me, the biggest one on her list, and this is, you know, if she doesn't get it, hopefully she can get all this stuff, but the mo number one priority is Katie Lang's album, All You Can Eat. There's 2,500 copies of that, so, um, yeah, so that's one. 
That along the King's Eyes are the two biggest items for, for, for us, um, but hopefully we can get all this stuff. There's one other item on cassette tape that I think I asked her, and I don't think she's interested, but it's an artist she likes. It's kind of a, a Neo Soul, Jamie Lydell, Mudlin Gear, and there's only 500 copies on cassette tape. So um, anyway, that's the sort of rundown of Black Friday Record Store Day coming up a week from today on the 26th of November. You know, we always find potentially other things, and... Um, so, and there's other things that are sort of in the pipeline, but, um, you know, I'm hoping, I'm hoping I can just get my two items, I won't break the bank too much, um, but get them, and then maybe we'll end up doing, since we never made a, an actual record store day video, or we never made a second video, we did one for June and not July, I'll, I'll show the, the King's X and the other items again and talk a little bit about them, um, that we end up getting back in July for, for record store day, so... Anyway, uh, just curious what you're looking forward to. Are you going to Black Friday? Do you normally go to Black Friday Record Store Day? And if so, what are the items you're looking for? Are there a lot? Very little? You know, or are, do you ever do Record Store Day shopping or music shopping on Black Friday? Of course, there's other stuff that have, come up, have been coming up and buying stuff. The Dredge Let Motif Anniversary, which is not going to be sent out until July 28th, I just ordered. And, um, you know, I have a record here that I... Maybe I'll save another video for us. Uh, I think I believe this is yeah one that I a pre this is a record store item too. So that wasn't something I got at the record store I found online. But maybe that's a good reason why I haven't made my record store day video for July yet. Um, and I'm just I'm just trying to think. There was some other stuff, but you know a lot of the news that's been coming up, of course, recently. Um, and I am planning on doing the albums of the year uh, list. Um, hopefully I'll be able to just do it in here. I don't know if I'll be showing a lot of physical copies, try to manipulate with images or whatever. But anyway, again, thanks for watching. Get, you know, let me know if you have any record store day for Black Friday plans. Or what are your, what are your Black Friday plans? I, I try to avoid the mob at the big stores. So that's my personal experience after doing that many years ago. But, um, if you do that, great. What are you looking for? If you're not looking for records or CDs or something else. But thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.